Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll talk about data cleaning in Microsoft Excel. Data cleaning is a very important step. If you are a data analyst, if you want to process the data, first you define your data and then once you fetch the data from somewhere, you have to clean that particular data. So it is imperative if you are a data analyst or scientist, you have to clean the data and it is seen most of the time maybe 60 to 70 percent is taken in cleaning your data so it is very important to understand what are the basics and how to clean those data for example as you can see on the screen this is my excel sheet right and this is the sales data this sales data is coming from one particular software it can be sap it can be tally it can be any particular software right so what issues you are seeing is first of all you can see state product code this is coming in the next row so overall all the headers they are coming in two rows so that is issue number one second you can see the current year sales it is coming in d column as well as e column right so we have to merge this same with the previous years right so so what to do how to clean this data first solution is to do it manually manually how you have to create one more column where you will just create if else loop if my column d is having the value then use this otherwise use column e then you can merge these two columns second all these blanks are coming so you can just control uh, you can just right click and delete this so these are the things that you can do but these are not recommended because the data can be huge this is all manual things that you have to do it again and again for example you do this these processes or you can say these steps today but tomorrow again the data will come and you have to do the same process again right so this is not at all suggested and you're wasting your time what we should focus on is we should do dynamic whatever we are doing it today it should be useful tomorrow as well right so there are two approaches first approach i talked about if i go to data you can use data tools like text to columns remove duplicates or you can use flash fill and then you can use data validation all these kind of tools you can use to clean your data right second option is using get and transform data this uh, getting the data from the source directly and working on power query to clean the data so that all the steps are recorded and you can use that again and again so now what i'll do is i'll quickly fetch the data through get data from file from excel workbook this is the unclean data this is what we have to clean so i'll import this file and this will be loaded into power query so guys, if you have seen my previous video on creating the dashboards on Power BI, then you must be familiar with this layout. This is the Power Query Editor, right? Here you can see left side, you will see all the queries. So if you have five tables or multiple tables, all tables will be listed over here. The top side, this is the ribbon where you will see all the functions. In the middle, there would be the table. This is the formula bar, all right? right side this is the query settings here you can change the name of the table and then in the bottom you can see the applied steps so whatever changes you are doing all the changes or the steps will be recorded which you can change later on as well all right so first of all the first issue was the header so you can see state product code all these are coming in the first row right so what i can do is I can select here I can use first row as headers right this is done now you will see in the process some of the headers are changed header names are changed but this we will take care of later on what I am considered most of the sales this is my current year sales this column 4 and column 5 this is my CY sales all right so what we have to do is some of the values are coming in column 4 some of the values are coming in column 5 what i have to do is i simply do merge right click and select merge columns all right separator should not be there because 
there is nothing as such i'll make this column name as current year sales cy sales click on okay so this is here all the data are coming in one column similarly with previous year sales column 7 and column 8 i'll merge this right click and click on merge columns name this as py sales all right click okay perfect so now what i can see is in my one column itself i am getting current year sales and in another column i am getting previous year sales right and then there is a column 10 and 11 which is the difference but right now we don't need because in the excel itself we can calculate the difference by calculating as current year sales minus previous year sales so this is irrelevant right now right so going back so there is one more thing there are various rows which are null right so what i'll do is directly state filter i'll deselect null values click on okay so all these null values are gone right now what we have to do is we have to see which are the values or which are the columns which we have to select so i'll select all those columns which are relevant state then product code then category current year sales so guys you have to click on control while selecting all these columns then click previous year sales right so once all the relevant columns are selected cl right click and select remove other columns so it will remove all the other columns which are in the table right so now we are set with five columns now i can change the column name of this this is category right now this is completely clean data you can see my state you can see product code you can see category you can see current year sales you can see previous year sales now you have to change some data types as well so this is the state you can change this data type to uh, geography but uh, this is not relevant right now what you can do is the current year sales and previous year sales it should be currency but right now it is abc abc is text right so now instead of text we want currency i'll just click currency so now you have converted your type of current year sales from text to currency same with previous year sales i'll select this currency perfect so now you have changed the data it is completely clean so you can write the name of this as cleaned data all right so now you can close and load see now you have got the data that you wanted all right so if i want this kind of summary for example if i control c copy and paste it over here right so if i want current year sales and previous year sales for gujarat punjab uttar pradesh karnataka from this data can i do that yes so what i'll do is i'll use sum if formula where i'll define the sum range this is for current year sales so sum range would be this column comma what is my criteria range criteria range would be state right comma what is my criteria 1 criteria 1 is state should be gujarat all right so what i have done is first i have taken the sum range right then i have taken the criteria range perfect then i have taken the criteria range criteria great i'll just close this and see what is the value so i am getting the value as 7 crores 47 lakhs 92000 right so is it correct so if i see this is the gujarat part if i select first five you can see control c and control v and if i sum this data i am getting the same value right so the formula is perfect i'll just remove this all right so what you have to do is now your g is fixed right and 4 is varying so what i'll do is control c and drag till karnataka right so you will get the values for all the four states and here i should change the formatting perfect so this this looks good 
Now if I have to get the values of previous year sales, I will just control C, copy and paste. Now you can see the values are same for current year and previous year because in this I have to change this formula bar and I have to change the column name. So currently it is CY sales, I have to change it to PY sales. Right, now you can see the values have changed. Same, I'll drag and drop. So you can see it is very easy to create it dynamically. So what it does is, similarly if I want to do it for category, first of all I'll just complete this and then I'll tell you what is the dynamic part about it. So again some ifs, right? So some if I have to check some range, comma, what is my criteria range? This is the category part comma what is my criteria footwear and close right so now this is my current year sales right if I want to get the previous year sales I have to change this to previous year sales perfect so now this is my current year sales and previous year sales right for category and state so now what is dynamic about it that I'm talking about now that you have understood uh, you can apply all the logics over here you can summarize the data but how we can make it dynamic or is it really dynamic all right so yes this is dynamic because we have fetched it from the data directly so for example if I fetch this data from uncleaned Excel right so whatever you change like in this particular file unclean excel whatever data you change for example right now there are 20 records and if you add 10 more records then what i'll do is i'll just need to refresh this if i refresh if i have 10 more records then it will be 20 plus 10 30 records now right so it will automatically refresh you don't need to manually go and add the data again and again this kind of data can come directly from various software such as SAP, Tally, Microsoft Navision, Salesforce, uh, any other software, whatever you think of. So it is very, very helpful. If you are in data analysis, you need to understand connecting the data from various sources, and then clean the data. I hope this video was really helpful for you. If you are starting a journey in data analytics, Please go through data cleaning processes, data selection, how to select, what kind of data is relevant to you, how to optimize. These are very important concepts. And if you want to have these kind of concepts, if you want me to create these kind of reports or videos for you, please, please comment below and give me the suggestions so that I can make the videos on those particular topics. Thank you guys for watching.